Hi, this is the easiest install of Linux Ubuntu you can perform straight through Windows, no changes to your computer, no special configurations. Simple, easy, fun, free. Check it out. Hey everybody, welcome to a simple, quick walkthrough Ubuntu tutorial. This here is the Ubuntu download page. All you have to do is save the desktop file. Make sure you choose which version you're using, 32-bit or 64-bit. I'm using the 64-bit version. I'm going to go ahead and write that CD to a disk and label the disk so that I can use it in the future. I'm going to need this disk again. And it becomes a big pain to keep downloading these and it becomes expensive. After I'm done using the disk, I will store it in a safe place so that I can come back to it later. So all you have to do is pop the disk into the drive, CD drive, or DVD drive. I'm using a DVD-ROM. I, I recommend you use a DVD-ROM. Once I pop in the disk, Windows will automatically pop up a little window asking if I want to open it, and I'm going to say, yes, run the EXE setup. And this is very simple. Once you run the EXE setup, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to do this? Obviously, you want to do this. Here you go, your basic install screen. It's so simple. It's going to ask you how many gigabytes you want to make the little hard drive for it. I recommend a small amount to get started. You don't want to use a, a large disk because you're just troubleshooting. Uh, this is your distro version. I recommend Ubuntu for beginners. Okay, English obviously is the language we're using. And then all you have to do is set up your, your user ID and password. And now you've completed all the required settings to use this easy Ubuntu install. Make sure you remember your password, click install, all the magic is done. Once you install this, you don't have to make any changes to your computer, you don't have to do any complicated configuration, you're going to have dual boot, which means you're going to be able to choose between booting Windows and Ubuntu, which I'm a big fan of. I like having multiple operating systems on my computer. That way, I can just do more. I have more control, more computational capability, and more software. So it takes a while to install Ubuntu. You're going to probably want to get up and wander around and get some coffee or something or a soda or whatever it is you like. And here we are. We're done. It asks you if you want to reboot. I would recommend you reboot right away because complicated configuration like this you don't want to tinker around for too long before you restart it so simple as can be this is the easiest way to install Ubuntu and get started without running any ROMs or emulators so here you go your computer reboots super simple the same exact process that you would expect you don't have to mess with BIOS you don't have to do any special configuration and you're gonna get a choice right here inside of grub Grub is the option, MBR, uh, MBR is Windows, Grub is Linux, Grub is going to allow you to choose, do you want to boot Windows, or do you want to boot Ubuntu? Let's choose Ubuntu. Here's your Ubuntu boot up screen. Ubuntu boots super fast, faster than Windows. It's amazing, it's awesome. Uh, I, I'm a super fan of Ubuntu. Would I, would I give up Windows to only use Linux? No. People ask me what's the best operating system. I say it depends what you're doing. So here's what Ubuntu looks like. It's very simple. It's just like another operating system. If you've used Apple's, if you've used Windows, you can use Ubuntu. You navigate through a GUI, a graphical user interface. There's buttons, there's icons. Okay, Ubuntu comes built in with Firefox. All right. You can instantly access the internet. Ubuntu also comes built in with all kinds of other features, like uh, an office type feature, which has all kinds of different office type software. Basically, pretty much the same thing as Microsoft Office, but for free. So, I encourage you guys to jump in and try this out. Uh, I would not uh, recommend that uh, 
you try the hard disk installs or any of the more complicated, more sophisticated installs until you've at least gotten your feet wet and checked out some of the features, gotten used to it, decided if you even like it or need it. Uh, I need it. What I use it for, I will explain in another tutorial. For now, I'll just give you the simple things. I use it for file converting. There's all kinds of free software that you can use because I don't have the money to go out and spend, you know, three thousand dollars on the full Adobe package. Uh, it's just a great option, a great powerful tool to use in the field. Not to mention you can impress your friends by showing it off. And the shutdown process is easy. The button's in the top right hand corner of the screen, and you just shut her down. And that's all there is to it. Enjoy your new Ubuntu. Thanks for watching my tutorial. For more information about how to install Ubuntu, more in depth video tutorials, visit patriot2.0.com or subscribe to Patriot 2.0 YouTube channel. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again. Subscribe.